Welcome back to the next lesson in an introduction to Learn Dash. In the last lesson, we learned how to integrate the Stripe add-on so that we could use that as a payment option. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use the Uncanny Owl Learn Dash toolkit. So right from the WordPress dashboard, if we go to Add New, we can search for this plugin. and we can install it. We'll go ahead and activate it. And once it's activated, you'll see that there are a ton of different options that we can use within this plugin. We're going to keep the scope of this lesson pretty tight. And we're going to just look at the front end login module of this add-on. So, this will add a custom login form and can optionally force users to be verified by an admin before they can sign in. What this module does is gives us a little bit more control over the look and feel of the WordPress login screen. So we'll go ahead and turn this on. Front end login is activated. And then we'll click on the settings cog. So manual user verification will turn off for now. However, uh, what we can do is change the page that we want the login page to be. Since we don't have any that are suitable for just logging in, we're going to go ahead and create one. So I'm going to go to pages, add new, and I'm going to create a login page. I'm going to click publish, and then we'll go back to the uncanny toolkit, click the cog again, and now our login here page is showing up in the drop down menu. You can see the settings have automatically changed. So now if we go to all pages and view this page, you'll see that we, we see a note, right? Note this page has been set as the login page for the site. The form below has been added for your convenience to hide this message. Add the short code UO login UI to this page and we're already logged in. So let's go ahead and go to an incognito browser so that we can see what it looks like when you're not logged in. So we see that same message, but then we also see the login. So we want to get rid of this message. Uh, we don't really want this message to be shown to our users, right? So we'll uh, get rid of this for now. So to get rid of this, we will copy the short code and we'll click edit page and we will paste that short code click update so now if we visit the page there's no message there is the statement that we're already logged in and if we go back to our incognito browser and refresh you'll see that we only see the login page so that's it for this lesson what we did was install the uncanny learn dash toolkit and we enabled the front-end login module. You can see that there are a lot more modules that we're not covering here, as well as a bunch of pro modules to help you really customize your Learn Dash course. In the next couple of lessons, we're going to look at alternative ways to customize both our course page layout, as well as the default WordPress login page.